so now that I have my um, paper pulp, um, I'm going to start uh, covering my armature, my donut armature. Um, I neglected to just say that I added a little bit of glue to this one just to see if it works a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking the paper pulp, placing it on top, pressing it down with my fingers, and covering the form. And I'm going to continue to do that all around the top, the sides, the inside. I'm just pressing and squeezing. So as I press, the extra water actually is removed, and that's okay. Just make sure that your donut has a center. And you're going to continue in this fashion all around the top the sides. Don't forget we do the bottom after the top and the sides are covered and dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish covering the whole form and then I'm going to place it to dry and then I will do the bottom. So I don't do the bottom just yet but I'm using both my hands and I'm pressing and squeezing press, press, and make sure that it's okay. And then I'm going to just lift it a little bit and see where I need to place a little more. Now what's going to happen is your paper um, that you created with a newspaper for the donut form or armature, it's going to get a little bit softer because it's getting wet. Don't worry about that. Um, now, if you do this on a day that it's um, sort of rainy and a lot of moisture in the air, it's going to take a little bit longer for the um, paper pulp to dry. But if you do this on a sunny day or if you do it a couple of days and then you get a really nice sunny day, just put it outside. Make sure to watch it because... <laughs> Once it gets dry, it gets really soft and um, light, lightweight, okay? So I've got my form. That's what it looks like. i got to go in here a little bit more. And then I'm going to put it to dry. It might take um, one or two days. We'll see what happens. And I've got my form and my sculpture, my donut sculpture is done.